How are you guys? Right, we've added a new thing into the equation. We've now, over and above, our small 24 volt motor here, which we've got an e-scooter, and we attached the bits from the scooter to our bicycle. We've now, in addition to that, we've added in this guy here, which is a treadmill motor. It's 180 volts DC. So he's rubbing direct on the tyre to give him that turning effect that we need. Which is, I don't know how good you can see that, but as you can see, if I move the bike ever such a slight amount, that wee motor trots on. So he's wired up through this ammeter. Tells how many amps he's putting in. This being my total voltage, which is in the battery just now, which is about 24 and a half. Um, and this is for batteries. We'll just sort of through this together as per usual, guys. Still poking about and learning. But I'm um, getting a reasonable result for this, so we we'll So, what we'll do is, I'll set off on a wee pedal. So we're pedalling just now at that speed. Voltage is not changing because we're not using it. electric drive. And the amps is not moving because I've wired it up to this circuit breaker. So that's it. When it's off, the charger's off. And this one, when it's off, the electric motor's off. So we're doing nothing just now, we're just pedalling. So we'll switch on the electric in a wee minute and we'll show you what we can do with the electric. That's a standard, standard bike, pedaling. That's a bit of cardiovascular exercise. But what we'll do is we'll switch on the electric. And once the electric is on, it'll start pushing the bike and I can stop pedaling. So we'll just go ahead and switch it on. So the electricity on, that's me stop pedalling, as you can see we're strolling on here. We're also doing 19.6 volts, with the new motor draining out the battery. We're not making any amps at all, because there's no switch on the ammeter. So what we'll do is, switch it off, and that's us off the electric, you can see the voltage keeps back up. And then we'll switch on the charger, so we're now charging. You can see we've got a reading on the army. I don't know if you can see, see my feet too good. We're hardly moving. We're going about this speed. Very leisure. We'll start making two and a half amps. Obviously, if you speed up, that'll come up as well. We don't need to. The next turn will shove our battery up, which will now at 5 volts. And every little helps, as they say. So, as we're plodding along here, I mean, two and a half, three amps, doing absolutely nothing. But the battery's coming up. He's up to 25 and a half now. Three amps. We're putting into it. So, I mean, if you slow right down to that, say a walk. Matter of fact, I could walk. We'll show you how much we make it a walking pace. Amps. So, so this will be me walking at a walking pace. Oops, I better should balance the bike, wouldn't it? So we're walking at a walking pace. And we're still making one each amps, maybe one and a half. See my feet. So I'm now charging the batteries as we go, as well as emptying them as we go. We're doing the two of them together, charging and running. Doesn't really work. Actually starting to look at over unity, which is definitely not going to happen in a contraption like this. But, as I said earlier, maybe a little helps, doesn't it? So we took that battery from 2 1 up to 2 5, and we're putting in. 2.3 amps at that speed of pedalling, which gives me this speed moving. So I'm sitting about 6, 10, I'm there between 6 and 10 miles an hour. And we're moving 2.2 amps, shove the battery back up to 25 volts. So, <coughs> as a result, I don't think 
don't think they'll ever suffer for over unity on my bicycle. I'm gonna do but we've got a wee motor, 24 volts out in e-scooter, back clogs put on my washers. Just made a wee bracket up to squeeze on this thread mill motor. see it but it's 180 volts DC which basically means it when about 325 revs or something like that it's making 13 volts so that wheel shoving it around about five or six hundred revs at a walking pace so it's making plenty of volts now matter of fact probably if we disconnected it for the battery now I don't know I don't know that should then give us just a direct voltage reading. So we're going at walking pace. And we've got 40 volts at walking pace. Again, there's my feet. But that's reasonably good. That's what the direct is. Once it's connected to the battery, obviously the battery will grab that and stabilise it like it would with the wind generator drags it down to 25 so that's it guys just a wee quick with me faffing about um, household circuit breakers again no fancy telemetry big hard robust over engineered and perfect don't need to worry about any fancy things going wrong with it because there isn't anything fancy on it it's direct but it's hard wired apart from these big breakers anyhow be safe guys have fun I'm off on the electric again that's us on the electric. No pedaling. Easy for the lemon squeeze. So take care guys. Data. And I will speak to you all again soon. Next time I come up with something strange. Data. That man's dream. Hey, Pedlin. <laughs>